Hello everyone! So it has been a while that I've shown my face on here because I have been working so hard behind the scenes and I finally finished my office. So I wanted to give you guys the full exclusive tour of all the yarn that I have, um, the storage, what I do, the desk, everything. So keep a lookout. The video is coming right after this. And here it is. So this is my new office. So first thing when you walk in, um, we bought this desk from Ikea. And then I bought this nice little rug. So let's start over here. I bought these nice pegboards. And then my amazing mom um, made me this amazing sign that says Twin Stitches Designs, which I think is absolutely perfect so on my pegboard i just have a few things and i ordered more um little things to put up here uh first up is my real logo with um these are just like card stocks so that when i'm sending out uh, packages i include that in a fun little note uh these are all my tough twillins hand bombs and then i have my little um alpaca guarding them so i have these fun little trays um, I ordered more of these fun hooks because I think it looks like a yarn shop and I can, you know, put all things on there. So I have these fun little labels uh, from Knit Picks. Absolutely love these. So I'm going to be adding these to some of my hand knits. I have hooks with uh, my hi ha Sharp. And then the desk itself, which, I mean, I've put pumpkins all over the place, you guys, because it is fall. I'm saying it's fall and I want it all around me. Um, this is one of the candles in the Coffee House Sock Club um, from the Little Wolf Knits and this one is Pumpkin Pie and you guys I had to already light it up and you see I've already used them. I absolutely love it. And then I have my little um, Alexa in the corner. Uh, yeah so then I have this mount that helps me with my podcast and my videos um, I have my computer kind of set up and then under my computer um, this bin is mostly all actually I'll bring you through it a little bit so that was all my pumpkin stuff from last year and then this bin is all um, all of my books and um, I also put these are the fun um, bags that I'm going to be using from nitpicks to hand wash and machine wash my socks and then over there is um all project bags notion pouches and all of that fun stuff so then i have my chair that i also bought and on the back of it you might recognize this is um my blanket pattern that i knit for the girls so i'm waiting to knit another one before i give it to them because i don't just want to give one uh, yeah, and then I have Mittens crate. She absolutely loves to be in here, so I decided to bring her crate. And she loves just lying down in it, so it's awesome. All right, now you want to see the yarn. Um, this one is one of my first um, bookcases from Ikea. And then I have two full more that I'm going to be bringing you through. Don't worry. So this... Um, Yarn Swift is from Knit Picks in the Birch colorway. Uh, all the stuff that I'm going to mention, I will link as much as I can down below in case you are interested in purchasing any of it. Um, my yarn um, ball winder is uh, Stanwood Craft from Amazon. Um, I've had that one for years, so absolutely love it. And I really love my um, Swift from Knit Picks. And that's a fun yarn bowl from Knit Picks. So let's look at all the yarn. Here on top is all of my dishy with my dishy twist from Knit Picks. Um, Knit Picks Felici. So all of those colors. And then there's um, more in the back there with the dishy cones. Really excited because I'm going to be doing a fun collection with the um, monochrome set. All right, and down below here is Wonder Fluff. Now, Wonder Fluff is brand new to me. Um, I had tried out one sample and I absolutely loved it, so I had to order sweater quantities of it. This one is in cobblestone heather, which is like the perfect gray, which is yeah, 
That is the color. And it is light like air. No joke. So that's the one I have. Um, Finley Heather, which is such a soft gray. It reminds me, um, if you know Knit Picks, it reminds me of Dove Heather, that colorway. And then I got one of the Kale because I wasn't sure if it was going to be an ice green and I'm totally obsessed. So next time, yeah, you guys, I'm getting a sweater quantity of this one. So yeah, so I have two sweater quantities of the Wonder Fluff and that pattern is going to be hopefully coming out soon because, or being knit soon, I should say, because I already swatched, absolutely love the gauge and everything that I got. Now I just need to sit down and do the full math. All right, now under here, this is um, Fable Fur. And then all of this is the Mighty Stitch. So this Mighty Stitch, um, let me pull one out so you can really see a nice color of it. This one, it's it's coming out blue right now, but it's more of a green. Um, really, really nice. So this one is Marina, and I'm going to be pairing it with the white um, for this blanket. So that I'm really excited about, and I'm going to do another sample up for the girls. All right, so that is all on this cabinet. So like I said, some Felici, some really old Felici, um, and then some of the new colorways. Uh, dishy, dishy twist, dishy so. So there's dishy twist, dishy twist, dishy solid, um, dishy multi, and then the dishy cones. Yeah, I love dishy. All right, so let's keep on with the nitpicks. And you see up top here, my pumpkin theme continues. Up here in this basket is all some mini skeins that I had received um, and leftovers. And then that's a fun um, little alpaca that I got from Michaels. And then up here, it's kind of some leftovers, things I had skeined up. So I just kind of put that all in the basket. And that basket is from um, Savoy Baskets. So really absolutely love that one. Okay, you guys, are you ready? This right here is all of Hoth um, Knit Picks Stroll hand painted. Oh my god, I am totally blanking. All right, and then this one is the Hawthorne Speckle, Hawthorne uh, Kettle Dye, um, Static. This is the Surefoot, and then this is one of the Hawthorne Reels. And then in behind here, look at what I got. I have the Aloft, which, by the way, look at these pairing together absolutely amazing so for this one this one is iceberg and this this is nymph these two together you guys oh totally becoming a hat eventually when i have more hands and then i have some of the capretta superwash which i absolutely love this one is absolutely amazingly soft so crazy soft it has cashmere so really love that and you'll see from time to time i've actually put um lavender ooh, 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 ooh. let me go down and get it while you were getting a super sneak peek of all the upcoming yarn so yeah so i have some fun lavender sachet pouches all around different types um this is to help keep away the moths from my beautiful yarn but yeah so this is daphne um these are spark uh, peach melba I mean, absolutely amazing. Absolutely super amazing. All right, moving on to the next row. This is all. Um, all of that is stroll except for these, which you guys, I don't think this one is getting enough hype. So this is Muse, which look at how beautiful that is. It's artisanal um, hand dyed. It is so beautiful. So yeah, of course, I have gray because, you know, your girl is obsessed with gray. So keeping on the stroll, these are the stroll gradients, which I cannot wait to make something for the girls out of this one. This one is BFF, which, oh my gosh, absolutely love. And then Pet Rock. I mean, could a color be more me? But you know what surprised me? My um, friends over at Nitpick sent me this one. And I'm totally obsessed. And I showed it to my husband. So this one is Camper Van Gradient. And I showed it to my husband. He was like, oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I really love that one. So I'm like, I need to start a pair of socks soon. You guys, I don't have enough hands. These are gloss fingering. And then all here are all um, the mini skein stroll packs. So you can buy these 
already done. Uh, like this one is radiant red, so it goes like all the reds, but you can totally pair it up with some astral. I mean, look at that. That's the red that's in there. Um, there's like the purple. Look at that purple. Absolutely amazing. I really love that. Okay, moving on below. This is my billow stash. Now, you may have seen up on my blog right now, I have a free mug rug pattern out of billow. This yarn is 100% cotton and bulky, which I have not seen before, and it is so, so soft. I am planning on, um, I'm planning on making a fun, um, throw blanket with it because it is just beautiful. So they come in all different colors. Really, really pretty. And next up, I have one skein of the Germantown in Honey. Um, I'm planning on doing a fun hat or mittens, something with texture because look at the stitch definition on that. It is beautiful. So that is definitely something. It's a new yarn for Knit Picks that they have and um, absolutely love it. And then this is just some fun alpaca cloud and some chroma. All right, you guys, let's keep going. All right. So this one looks like a little bit of a mess, um, but it's because that this is kind of like my designing drawer. So these are the ones that I've pulled out um, recently, except for the Gillette, because I, or Gilead, Gilead, because I decided to make my Christopher Bunny out of this one, the Bear Stroll, um, Bear Woodland Tweed, oh, which is so beautiful. I absolutely love this one. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's neutral. It's tweed. It is soft. I mean, come on, nothing better than that. Um, there is some city tweed DK, which I am knitting up, um, a new design right now. And then these are Tolemata yarns. Um, that I'm going to be knitting up a sweater in uh, later on. This is the Coast to Coast yarn that I have not skeined these up yet because I'm still working on the yoke of the sweater, which, I mean, by the time I post this, maybe I've gotten further. My plan tonight, sidetrack, is to finally split for the sieve, so let's see if we can actually get that done. But yeah, absolutely love. This is in the colorway Rust. Human, focus on this. Thank you. So yeah beautiful. I'll link her shop down below as well. So yeah, so that's just this cubby. Um, I decided to put all things that I'm planning on designing that I already have like a project in mind here so that um, I know where it is and I don't have to go through my entire stash. And this lovely pile is just all of leftovers, things that I've worked on um, that I do need to skein up, reskein, um, different things. I'm going to be doing an oven swap with one of my friends. So I bought these fun... Um, yarn labels so I can label everything. So all of that, come on, fit in there. I've not organized this yet, so I still got to do that. Um, I took out my grandmother's sewing kit because uh, some of the girls, uh, their teddy bears needed a little bit of surgery, so I did that. Up here um, is all kind of blocking tools and my blocking mats, so I have that up there. All right, you guys, let's keep going. All of this is, again, Knit Picks. So this is the last of my Knit Picks stash. All of this is Wool of the Andes Tweed. Um, I used pretty much one of each color for my hat pattern, which is a free pattern on my blog. If you are interested, it is knit out of this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. I really love, again, I'm totally a tweed girl. Really love it. So this is their Will of the Andes Tweed, and this one is in Vineyard Heather, which... Oh. So um, for the free pattern, I made uh, two for the girls, one for me, and one for my husband. Did I, I thought I did five. I think I did another one. Yeah. And then this is in their Stroll, and then the Stroll Tweed, which Stroll Tweed... Uh, can I... Can I... It is one... Oh, that's... No. Do do. Can we pull it up? Uh, yes, we can. Stroll Tweed. It is one of my all-time favorite Knit Picks yarns. It is so ridiculously soft. I've knit a sweater out of this four years ago, I want to say, and it still holds up absolutely amazing. And the price point for the fingering weight yarn is perfect. The tweed flex just give it that extra um, thing. So I really, really love that. So yeah, so that is in um, Dogwood Heather, Pumpkin, Lavender Fields, 
I want to say this. That's not Jackrabbit. Oh, Rabbit Heather. Um, this is Lapis, I think it is. Lapis. Lapis. Yep. Oh my god. Look at that blue. This, if I have not seen, is a TARDIS. I mean, it's a little bit more bright. TARDIS y ish e blue. Actually, this one, the TARDIS blue. I'm talking about Doctor Who people. Yeah, that one's more navy. But if you want a TARDIS socks, that could be totally amazing. All right. So I obviously do have some hand dyed yarn. Up here is all of my hand dyed yarn with some commercial yarn. Um, I'm not going to be going through every single skein because um, there's quite a few. But I'm just going to name some of them that I see off the bat, which are absolutely amazing. Um, that I just don't want to use. This one is Dragon Horde yarn, which I wanted these skeins forever. And this is Sweater Weather in their her BFL. I have two skeins of this. I don't know if I'll ever, ever use it because um, one of my amazing friends gave it to me. And it's just one of the skeins that I've always wanted that I don't know if I'll ever find the most perfect project for it, but I admire it from time to time because it is just that beautiful. All right. Um, let me pick up another one that I really love. Oh, yes. This one oh, from Laura of Camp Fiber Yarns. You guys know I purchased this last year from her winter collection, and this one is frozen. I mean, come on. Look at those specs. Absolutely gorgeous. I really hope, Laura, if you are watching that... Oh, Ice Castle. So sorry. It's from Frozen, but it's Ice Castle. I seriously hope you bring this back because it is freaking fabulous. I love it. Look at those purple specs. Oh, love it. All right. Um, oh, wait a minute. Where are you? This one. I bought myself this one when I started designing and I made my first few sales and I was so proud of myself that I bought myself this skein of yarn from Cinnabar pink that I've wanted for years. When she came out with it, I've been dying for it. So it's Rowan Berry Lane and Self Striping, and I bought myself the sock set because, well, why not? It is so Christmassy, and yeah, I was really, really proud of it. Absolutely love that one. Um, I also I bought another one of her Self Stripings sock sets, which was this one. Um, let me keep going because why not, you guys? This is uh, Camellia Fiber Company and they're worsted. I do eventually have a fun project planned for that one. And that's in their mohair. Um, what is that one? That one's beautiful. Oh, Madeline Tosh. I bought on um, when Madeline Tosh was having like a huge sale. Um, I wonder if you guys are like screaming at the screen saying like, come on, show me that one. Tell me what that one is. Um... Let me, I'm trying to think, oh, this one, oh, oh my gosh, the whole thing almost came out. This one is Hot Knit Yarns, which is beautiful. This one is Hot Knit Yarns in De Devas, Divas. Absolutely, let me, oh, there you go, you guys. I was standing in front of the light. Really love this one. And this one, this is such a special skein. This is hand spun, my only one and only hand spun that I can't bring myself to knit up from my incredible friend Christine, who spun this herself um, last year for her art advent swap. Which I was, I literally cried when I saw this because I've always wanted hand spun, but I can't bring myself to knit it up. It's just so beautiful, so it just stays in my stash all the time because, well, I love it. Oh, yes, this is the West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, I bought myself the ones, I bought, the, I bought them on eBay because um, I could get them. Uh, the West Yorkshire Spinners, the signature four ply in their Christmas colorways. I want to say that this one was like the lights. The coloring names are on the line, but this one was like the lights. Um, this one was, whoa, whoa, stay in there, buddy. This one I already knit up a pair of socks with. I bought myself two skeins. So, yeah. This one again is Dragon Horde yarn, and that one is in. This is, oh, come on, focus, buddy. This, oh, so sorry, you guys. This is Halloween. Um, 
Oh, this was for them, um, the Grocery Girls, the Knit Two Together collection. This is another one of my skeins that I'm like, I am obsessed with it. I love the colors. I love that blue. But I can't bring myself to knit it. I just love staring at it so much. One day you will be knit. One day. Not right now. You, you just go back there. Shh. Go back to bed. So yeah, so this is a little bit of my stash. Oh, you guys need to see this. Laura, my incredible friend Laura, this is still the sticker that she sent me because I can't, you know. Um, she had sent me this as a gift. And look, this was her colorway of the month. And this one, I want to say it's a worsted weight. A DK. Look at that squish factor. Look at those colors. Laura is a wizard. If you do not follow her, make sure you do. Her yarn is amazing. Like, um, I have that one, uh, which I have a few of Laura's yarns. Oh, this one is my all-time favorite, Tiramisu. I had one skein left over from a collab with her, and it's just staying in there waiting for the perfect project because it's my favorite. I also purchased from her. Oh, come on. Don't all come out. Um monster cookie i don't know if she still dyes this colorway but i mean if anybody like come on monster cookie this is just like she's a wizard like i told you like look at the red and the yellow and the blue and those like little specks of black brown that you know are the chocolate chips absolutely amazing i love it so yeah, um, that's a little bit of my stash. I keep going back to that skein of Madeline Tosh. Absolutely love it. Oh, this is, yeah. Oh, just love all of these. It's kind of a close-up of amazing yarns. Oh, let me push that one back. You should be back in there. There we go. So yeah, so this is all of my stash pretty much um this is the stash that i have and then on this side i have the finished sweater that you guys have been seeing on instagram all over so this one was knit out of the knit pick city city tweed dk in obsidian um, snowbank and primrose really love these together so that is my whole office I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions on anything um, that I have not linked, let me know down below. And as always, I answer as soon as I possibly can. But yeah, so this is just one last tour. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to share with you. Look at this. I placed two fun hangers here so that I can display my knitting bags, which I mean, why not, right? it's art that is the one thing that i'm missing is some beautiful artwork um i love like a nice like artwork here and then artwork here so that's what i'm missing on these walls but this is the knit picks everyday tote bag and then that's also a knit picks it's uh knit and pearl and this is so huge absolutely amazing and it's only 19.99 us i'll link that below for you don't worry i absolutely love it if it it's everything I mean, look at the size of this thing. And it has fun knitted stitches inside. I mean, come on. How cool is that? So I think you guys, I think that's it. But I just wanted to show you my fun room. I finally finished it. Um, me and my husband have been working so hard in here. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know down below. And as always, everybody, happy knitting. Bye.